Y'all gonna quit playing with my guy. Y'all, y'all gonna quit talking down about my guy. Y'all gonna quit running y'all mouths about my guy EDC because he is continuing to show you that he ain't done putting in work. He ain't done trying to make this team better. He ain't done going through every nook and cranny and every crevice and crack of the Baltimore Ravens to try to make them the best team that he possibly can in the year 2024. Team, keep it clean. Before we get into this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on so you don't miss not a single EDC update. About to change the name of this channel to EDC Viz because that man got us working. Shout out to our guy EDC. But subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on and run them likes all the way up. Go crazy with it. Anyway, EDC. I remember uh, the first week of free agency is funny because somebody had commented on a video and they were like, man, I didn't come here to see uh, updates on the Philadelphia Eagles. I came here to see the Baltimore Ravens respectfully. It's like, OK. And I told him, like, look, I can't do nothing about that. If Ravens ain't doing nothing, I can't make them do nothing. Well, I mean, y'all can because they be reading the comment section. EDC, be, he be scoping the comment section like crazy. But that's the only thing we could do. So EDC was like, all right. Alright, and Graven Viz turned into like a little NFL channel. He started getting jealous. EDC started to get real jealous. And he was like, you know what? I'm tired of seeing him make videos about them other teams. I, I need him to get back to the Ravens. So EDC just been going non-stop crazy with it. Now, the Baltimore Ravens just signed a corner. We're going to talk about that tomorrow probably. But first, let's talk about somebody who they are scheduled to have in on a visit today. But before we get to the visit they got scheduled today, let's talk about the previous visit with former Cowboys wide receiver Michael Gallup. Remember what I told you all now. Remember what I said. Do not be surprised if they do not sign Michael Gallup because it's just a visit. It's a visit. And a visit is where everything starts, but... That's not where it ends. And when you start scheduling visits, that means that, all right, you're trying to scope the market out. You're trying to see what it's looking like, see how, how healthy this player is, see what kind of ability they still got. And you can only do so much on a visit and whatnot, but you, you, it's you trying to get to know the player a little bit better and see if they will be a good fit for your team. But it's like a job interview. And, and those of us that have been on plenty of job interviews, you know that just because you go on a job interview, it does not mean that you got the job. Trust me, I know from plenty of experience. But anyway... Michael Gallup apparently came and went. We ain't heard nothing about him. But now today up is Josh Reynolds. Josh Reynolds is scheduled to visit with the Baltimore Ravens today. And it's funny because when we talked about Michael Gallup visiting with the Baltimore Ravens, a lot of Ravens fans were like, Ugh, no, no thanks. I don't want it. Stone hands. He can't catch. He's always hurt. I don't want him. Get somebody else. EDC, what are you doing? You're going through the trash heap. You're going through Walmart. You're being cheap. That's not somebody who we want. I said, oh, my goodness. Like, <laughs> Ravens fans don't play. And look, I ain't mad at him because I, I don't feel like your standards should drop. I don't feel like you should just settle. Uh, I don't think you should just, oh, let, let's just take what's available because it's available. No, I don't think you should ever do that. You should still have high hopes, shoot for the stars. But then when the Baltimore Ravens, it was announced that they had a visit schedule with Josh Reynolds. Oh, my goodness. It was like a complete 180 from Ravens fans. They were like, oh, yeah, that's the one. I much rather prefer him. Oh, yeah, if I had the truth between Michael Gallup and Josh Reynolds, I'm going Josh Reynolds all day. So Ravens fans are clearly impressed a lot more with this potential move rather than a Michael Gallup potential move. Josh Reynolds, I had to watch him a little bit. I had to see what was Josh Reynolds looking like because he's a Ravens fan. They love him some Josh Reynolds. Josh Reynolds, first off, he's 6'3". Ravens fans been talking about they want a big body receiver uh, because right now it's Zay Flowers. Uh, he's like 5'9", I think. Rashad Bateman, he's six one. So while Rashad Bateman's not a small receiver, he's not the big body receiver or whatnot. Uh, you got Nelson Aguilar, he's maybe six foot, I think. Uh, Tylen Wallace, I think he's maybe five eleven, six foot. Um, then you got Mark Andrews, I say likely, but they're not receivers; they tight ends. So that's a whole different conversation. But anyway, because they play the position different, they line up differently. Y'all know that already. So a lot of Ravens fans been saying well, we want a big body wide receiver. Well, six three would be that. And when you watch Josh Reynolds catch the ball, this dude got these super long arms, and it, it, with with them long arms, that allows him to make contested catches. Uh, so he could have a cornerback draped all over him, and He's going to have the advantage because he's 6'3". Now, there are some corners that are 6'3", 6'4". It's very rare. Doesn't come around too often. He ain't got a bunch of uh, 
Richard Sherman's and Cam Chancellor's and uh, who was it? It was another guy that the uh, the Seahawks had that was like six three six four, I think. But anyway, um, oh, who, oh, what was his name now? Uh, his name is slipping my mind now. Oh, not Brandon Browner. Was it Brandon Browner? It was something like that. Anyway, y'all know. Somebody, I know somebody gonna know who I'm talking about. But those guys, they don't just grow on trees. Well, they would literally be trees. But anyway, um, cornerbacks usually like maybe like five. 11, 6 feet, uh, maybe a little taller, maybe a little shorter, but around there. So that that 6'3 can, and them long arms, that can give you a, a big-time advantage. Um, and with, with Josh Reynolds, um, he is somebody, not crazy amount of speed, not not, not a crazy amount of speed, but uh, the hands are there. Uh, and he will, he's somebody that will reach out and get it. Because uh, there's some receivers that'll wait till the ball comes to them. There's some receivers that'll catch the ball with their body, and that's a no-no. But, hey, if, as long as you're making a catch, you're making a catch. But if you're catching with your body, then that decreases your chance of catching the ball. But anyway, another conversation for another day. Um, but he, he'll he reach out and get it. Now, with Josh Reynolds, he has continued to be a complementary piece in the offenses that he was a part of. When you look at his numbers, uh, he started off with the Rams, um, and that was back in 2017. He stayed with the Rams for about 2017 through 2020. Uh, and then he got traded to, looks like he got traded to Tennessee. And then he went to Detroit and he's been with Detroit uh, ever since in 2020, ah, 2022 and 2023, he's been with the Lions. And if you look at him the past couple of years, uh, 38 catches one year, 40 catches the following uh, 2022, he had 479 yards, three touchdowns. 2023, 40 catches and 608 yards and five touchdowns. So that's crazy. You see how that average, his average just went like way up. Uh, so I don't know, maybe him and Jared Goff, they got in sync. And Jared Goff was like, look, just just go deep. I got you. I'm, I'm going to give you the ball. Just go deep. Because in 2022, um, like a lot increased just based off of two more catches. That's crazy because, again, 2022, he had 38 catches for 479 yards and averaged 12.6 yards per reception, had three touchdowns. But just the following year, he had two more catches. He had 40 catches. He went from 38 to 48, excuse me, 38 to 40 catches and went from 479 yards to 608 yards. So he, he increased his yardage by like 120 yards off of two more catches and, and went from three touchdowns to five touchdowns. So big big uh production there big significant increase in production there um so that's a, a beautiful thing to see but now he's a free agent now he's a free agent and he may have his opportunity will it come with the baltimore ravens we're gonna see we're gonna see but i i, I do know many ravens fans they would be all for this now in my opinion you had a visit scheduled uh, with Michael Gallup, you had a visit scheduled with Josh Reynolds. Um, this lets me know that the Baltimore Ravens are looking around the league and looking at all these different possibilities to add a wide receiver. And it does not have to be via free agency. Just my opinion. I ain't hear nothing. I don't know nothing. I'm an NFL outsider. No plugs, no sources, no connects, no none of that. But that's what that lets me know that they are looking to make a significant move at the wide receiver position. Now, of course, we that whole the whole Debo story, that was funny. I mean, it was cool. I mean, I wouldn't have minded it. I think he would have fit perfectly. But Eric DaCosta, he kind of shut it down because he compared it to the Lorax. And I was like, oh, that's a, a, a fictional story. And he compared that Debo story to just that. Um, but he didn't shut it down. And again, like, like we talked about that, not saying that is true, not, not saying that is true, but like, I know people, they, they, they saw what Eric DeCosta said, they're like, oh man, yeah, Eric DeCosta said that that's fake. Why would he admit to trying to trade for Debo Samuel, even if it was true? He would never, never admit that. Why, why would Eric DeCosta come out there and say, yeah, we've been talking to the 49ers about trying to trade for Debo Samuel, because if he came out and said that, that would only hurt his chances of getting Debo Samuel because if he came out and said, yeah, we were trying to talk to the 49ers about trading for Debo Samuel, that would let all these other teams know that he's available. That would let all these other teams who may be interested in him be like, oh, you know what, let's get on the phone with them too. And let's try, let's try to trade for Debo Samuel too. So that would just mess up any shot that he had to land them. 
But even if you take that whole story, whether it's true or not, out of the equation, with the visits that he's had lined up, again, that, that lets me know that he's trying to get a wide receiver for these Baltimore Ravens. Now, um, and I, I think that it means that they're trying to add somebody of significance uh, through free agency or really maybe even through a trade. Through a trade. Um, because you could go the route of the draft – um, and I know that it's been talked about, oh, this uh, draft is it's receiver heavy. It's got so many receivers in it. Oh, man, it's a plethora of receivers that you could draft and add to your football team to make them that much better. And that's cool. But um, I think that Eric DaCosta, like they tried with Odell Beckham Jr. last year, and it was all right. And obviously the, the, the bigger thing with Odell Beckham Jr. was bringing Lamar Jackson back. And that was the mission accomplished. Um, but – I think with with the guys that they brought in thus far, uh, they are healthier than an Odell Beckham Jr. Who who is he visited with the Miami Dolphins? By the way, he he left without a deal, but it, it's apparently said that they trying to agree on numbers. So Odell probably want this. The Dolphins probably want to give him that. <laughs> oh, hey, we'll see. That'd be cool though. Is it Odell Beckham Jr. Just his vibe, and then seeing him with Tyreek Hill, and ooh, that that would be fun to see. I, I I hope he does go to the Miami Dolphins, and the Ravens play the Dolphins next year too. By the way, hey, let's go. But anyway, um, those guys, uh, Josh Reynolds and Michael Gallup, and who knows who else it could be, um, but they would be healthier versions of what Odell Beckham Jr. brought to the Baltimore Ravens. Odell Beckham Jr. was by no means bad. At all for the Baltimore Ravens Was he 15 million dollars worth But He was not bad But with those guys um, They will obviously not be 15 million dollar contracts They would not get that But the health would be there um, They would be more available And more ready to contribute uh, That much more um, And they've both come from Offenses where Significant passing offenses. Now, Baltimore Ravens are not that yet, um, but they have definitely made big strides, especially last year uh, in the passing game. But anyway, back to what I was saying, I really do think that this is letting us know. Eric DeCosta, he's trying to get a receiver of significance. Now, I know like uh, Michael Gallup or Josh Reynolds, those guys would essentially be like number two, number three options. Um, so we'll see, but I do really think Eric DeCosta trying to upgrade. but And what happens a lot of times, too, something else to just keep in mind as we move forward, um, a lot of times stuff can be smoke screens. And this has happened so many times, especially with the Baltimore Ravens, especially with Eric DeCosta. They could bring in this guy for a visit, bring in that guy for a visit. All the meanwhile, in the background, they trying to land somebody else. It happens all the time they do it all the time so that's something to watch out for this is baltimore ravens baby this is business they be doing stuff like that it always happens man so and and we even saw it at a different position but we saw it we like oh they like oh baltimore ravens are scheduled to have a visit with michael gallup we like, michael gallup where does this come from okay they having a visit with him then boom who they end up signing they end up signing josh jones like what you 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 scheduled a visit with Michael Gallup, wide receiver. You signed an offensive lineman, and then boom! Oh, Josh Reynolds scheduled to come in on Friday. Okay, cool. And boom, they end up signing a cornerback, also who used to play for the Texans. So I guess hey, them old Texans players they like if we couldn't beat them last year, we're joining them. But again, we're gonna talk about that cornerback uh, at a later time. But anyway, um, that's something to watch out for: the smoke screen, the smoke screen because. Ravens, they, they love them smoke screens. They love them diversions. They love putting your eyes over here all the meanwhile they working on somebody over here. So be on the lookout for that. I mean, you can't really be on the lookout for it because that's where they hit you with that swerve. But that's why it's so fun being a Baltimore Ravens fan. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love you all so much. I appreciate you all. Again, subscribe to the channel. Turn the notifications on so you don't miss any EDC updates on this channel, EDC Viz, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Leave a like. Run them likes all the way up. Go crazy with them likes, man, because it helps out the channel like crazy. I know y'all are crazy. I'm crazy. We crazy together. That's why I love y'all so much. Team, keep it clean. We out.